Okay, for this video, what I want to do is talk to you about the parent function for a sine wave. And the parent function is f of x equals sine x. And I have a picture of the unit circle here to help us come up with the graph for the parent function of sine. Basically, what we are going to do is we're going to take the unit circle and we are going to take and plot this on an xy grid. So if I draw out my grid, for x and y, or we could put f of x since I have it in function notation. It doesn't matter whether this is f of x or if it's y, they mean the same thing. So basically what's happening here is we are going to take the radian measures. You could also do this with degrees. A lot of times we deal in radians, so I'm going to do it in radians, but it would be the same thing for the degrees. If you were looking at the degrees, you would look there. And what we're going to do is the x is going to be our radian measure. Okay, and then f of x is going to be our sine. So what happens when we plug in a certain value into our sine function? So if you look at the graph, remember that our ordered pairs are always in the form of cosine comma sine. So what we're going to do is we're going to essentially be looking at our y coordinate all the way around the circle. And we're going to have certain points where it's either going to cross the x axis or it's going to be a high point on our wave or a low point on our wave. So I'm just going to use the point zero pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, and then by 2 pi, I have completed one entire rotation of my circle. I could use everything in between because technically it goes through those points, but it's very hard to graph the pi over 6 and like 1 half isn't that bad, but like square root 2 over 2 is a little more complicated to graph. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use 0 pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, and then when we get back here, we get back to 2 pi. So that's what I'm going to label my axis, x axis with, is 0 pi over 2 pi, 3 pi over 2, and 2 pi. And if I go to the left, I do the same thing just in a negative direction because negative pi over 2 just corresponds to 3 pi over 2. Negative pi corresponds to pi. Negative 3 pi over 2 is pi over 2. And then if I go back to the beginning, um, we still negative 2 pi is a full rotation. So if I put this the same way, All right, and so I'm going to graph this over um, two periods, which means that we're going to do two full rotations. So I'm going to go through those points starting at zero, and I'm going to look at my y coordinate. So my y coordinate is zero, so that's what I would plot. It's always going to be at zero, zero. And then I would go to pi over two, and we can see that it goes up to one. So I would go one unit above. At pi, we are back to 0. And then when we go to 3 pi over 2, we are to negative 1. So that is the lowest point that we have here. And then we go back, once we get to 2 pi, we're back to 0. So that's how long it took us. The period of this one is 2 pi because it takes us 2 pi to go completely through a rotation until we start over again. If I go backwards, that's what the negative pi over 2 represents. We would start at 0, and then the next one would be negative 1. Okay, and then we would be back up to 0. And then we would be to positive 1, and then we would be back to 0. So what I'm doing here is I am graphing it for a period of two waves. You could, and I know that my graphs are not the best with this, um, you could draw the arrows to say that it continues on because my domain for this is always going to be all real numbers, so negative infinity to positive infinity. And my range is always going to be from my lowest point to my highest point, inclusive because it includes those points. So from negative 1 to positive 1 would be the range of my sine wave. Okay, um, basically if you know what the parent function looks like, it's very easy to graph this because it will always start at the same points. If you can remember that at 0, it's 0, 1, 0, negative 1, 0. Um, 
even if you do reflections, rotations, um, shifts, anything like that, you're always going to have the same general shape of a sine wave. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.